Are you a bit fed up with dull terracotta on your flower pots? How about upcycling them with some fabric to create a really interesting look for your indoor house plants? I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. Come and join me. For this project, you'll need a flower pot, some fabric. I've chosen this floral fabric and I've got a quarter of a metre here that cost me 75p for my local store, a pair of fabric cutting scissors and here I've got some special decoupage glue called Decopatch. If you don't have this to hand you could always use some PVA glue that's been slightly watered down and then I've got a children's paintbrush. This one's a cheap one, sometimes the bristles keep falling out but you can buy special decoupage brushes as well. First thing you need to do is to cut your fabric into about two centimetre squares. So the easiest way of doing this is to fold the fabric up and I'm going to cut along the edge here and that way I can get lots of pieces without cutting them individually. And cut through the fold here and then slice them. It doesn't need to be exact. The pieces need to be not so small that it's going to take you forever to glue them on and not so big that they become a bit unwieldy, so about the size of a postage stamp. And through the fold at the end. What I will do now is to take a bit of time just to turn all the pieces of the fabric the right way up. It's much easier to do your gluing when your fabric is the right way up. Just finish turning the last few pieces of fabric over. Next thing is to get your flower pot and your glue. And put a little bit, not too much, onto your brush. And start to paint the glue onto your flower pot. And just to cover quite a small area, and because I'm doing the rim here as well, I'm going to paint a little bit inside as well and then the reason I've got my fabric the right way up is I should be able to pick it up with my paintbrush it just saves you getting all a bit gluey later on position it in place and on the top rim get it to go over the edge it just gives a really nice finish and a little bit of glue over the top and I like to just continue round quite methodically as if I'm building a little warm position the next and a little bit of an overlap and over the top you just need to work methodically through applying the glue just to a small area of the pot picking up your fabric gluing it down in place and then lapping it over the edge of the rim just so it gives a really neat finish. And continue all the way around the pot, back to the beginning again, making sure you've got enough glue on your brush to hold the fabric in place. This needs another layer of fabric to cover up the rim here and you could finish like that and just have a band of the floral print around the edge of a flower pot or you could carry on and cover the whole pot. I've decided to cover the whole pot in fabric. So I do the same thing, glue the area, make sure the fabric overlaps the pieces above and where it's ridged just here, use the brush to sort of stipple in the fabric so it follows the shape of the pot and then come along and glue the next bit. Pick up the next piece of fabric and this is overlapping its neighbour next door but also the pieces above it as well. 
So I've nearly finished the pot. I've just got this bottom piece to do. So much as we did for the top rim, we need to make sure that the fabric tucks under the bottom of the pot as well. So I'm going to, so you need to glue on those bottom bits and underneath the pot at the same time. And then smooth it on with your brush. And that will give a really nice finish when it's sitting on your tabletop. And here we have the last two pieces to glue on. So the pot now is fully covered and I can just go back. Anything I can see it looking loose, I can give it another quick dab of paint and I'll turn that upside down and let that dry. As you can see, that needs a bit more glue just down there to hold it in place. And this is my transformed flower pot. Doesn't it really show off the plant really well? I do hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and then you'll always know when I've uploaded a new video with flower arranging, hints, tips and chat. I'll see you another time.